Well, you know, I've been fascinated with Rudy Giuliani for, for a long time, but he tweeted out recently, he got subpoenaed by three committees. He just tweeted out that he's considering it, basically, but there are privileges, legal privileges, constitutional things that he's considering. One, Rudy, the attorney-client privilege doesn't apply when Trump is not in the room when you're meeting with Ukrainian people. Two, the executive privilege doesn't apply because you didn't work for the government, right? You're just a United States citizen like everybody else. And the only thing that I think applies is maybe the Fifth Amendment when you stand up and testify and don't incriminate yourself. Like, there's no comment. There's, he, see, he, he's, he can say, you know, I, I, refuse, I, I can't testify, he can plead the Fifth. He's but now he's saying he may not testify. Well, here, he's going to end up in here's jail. The, here's the deal. The man in the White House did what he did. <laughs> Okay? Yeah. He had these conversations. He, he talked to, to all these different people. That's I'm what sorry. he did. There's a woman in the audience that's very excited at the idea <laughs> yeah, of Rudy she's Giuliani happy. going to jail. People... <laughs> he could go I to jail. jail. Oh, I think there's a lot of people that are very excited you know what about else he that did, for a lot of reasons. No, I don't. Tell me. Well, Do tell. <laughs> you remember this day, because I think it actually goes down as the worst day of his presidency. Even worse than this phone call was when in Helsinki, when he sat next to Vladimir Putin oh, yeah. and oh, said he Trump. believed him, the president, oh, said yeah, he believed well, Putin. Yes. Over our intelligence community, yes. right? right? And, yes. and and to me, yes, that says every. And it came out this weekend, by the way. It's a story that I don't <coughs> think is getting enough attention. That yeah. before that Helsinki meeting, that he had Russian officials in the Oval Office, and he said to them, yes. "I don't. I'm not as concerned. I don't have it word for word, so don't quote me on this. But I, I'm not as concerned about the Russian meddling because we do the same thing to other countries. Yeah, yes. he likes that. I don't so. know why people aren't talking about well, that. Because, yeah. because when we did talk about it, nobody wanted to hear it. Yeah. Let, let's, you know. Mueller let, said that that was the biggest threat to our well, democracy yes, he and that did. we needed to pay attention. But let's not to it. lose focus. The man did what he did. Mm -hmm. He admitted to being on the phone with people he shouldn't have been on yeah. the phone with, talking about stuff he probably should not have And withholding about, money. And withholding That's money that had already been given. That's right. Let us not lose focus. This is, you can spin this any way you want to, but it did happen. This isn't yeah. fake news, this is real news. Yeah. And yeah. if these other stories are correct and we discover that they've been sort of futzing around in a way but, that they shouldn't have been, we're gonna, we should be investigating this because you know, <laughs> if, if, <laughs> if Barack Obama had walked oh past boy. Moscow, just past Moscow, oh boy. if he had driven past Moscow, he, he'd be well, in they attacked, somewhere. But they attacked but so, Obama. <laughs> they attacked but Obama. Talking about the political implications of this, though, just give me one second. Yeah. So say, so impeachment doesn't mean, or investigation into impeachment doesn't mean impeachment. So no. at some point in time, this will reach the Senate. And I don't think it's beneath Mitch McConnell to get extremely dirty in an intense dogfight on this and to bring Joe Biden and his son on the stand mm -hmm. to testify. Then so the political Trump, implications yes. for Democrats in this mm -hmm. are intense. And I, for one, don't think, I mean, again, I don't know what happened, but this There's is going to get a there. hell of a lot worse before well, you know it gets what? better. It'll be, yeah. Here's the deal. If this were really important to the to uh, you know who in the White House mm -hmm. and to everybody. We'd have heard about this before the way we've heard about the email. Oh, you mean the Biden thing? Well, yeah. There's nothing and, to it. And, and even if there were, it they would bad. have, it may look bad, but it doesn't look worse than what he's doing in the White House with all his no, family. But that's right. But yeah. No, no, but, uh, but he has changed the bar for what is politically okay now. I don't disagree. Yeah. So, I yeah. so agree I'm just that. saying that them trying to turn it on Biden does not change the fact that this man talked to these folks no, trying no. to get dirt on Joe, trying yep. to move the needle, and also I think the but same thing that you brought up. Elizabeth, with but yeah. Elizabeth Warren is going to yeah. smell blood in the water on this one and pounce. Yeah, every it's gonna time get, you, you got to trust me on this one. It it's going to get a hell of a it, lot worse it, it before may, it gets better. And it, or but, it may not, but you know what? I, I put money on it getting worse before All right. better. I'm so going to put me. money and on the fact that it's not. I do love Joe Biden. I do love Joe Biden. There's no problem with that. Doesn't mean Mitch McConnell is not going to play the second politics with it. I said this the other day. It looks bad to go after Joe Biden, who lost two children already and a wife years ago. The Republicans will not care. Well, look. I know they don't care about anything like that. 55% of no Americans souls. approve of Democrats starting an impeachment inquiry. Listen. I think when the American people listen to what happened in the White House on that call, they will be much more supportive of impeaching Why don't they know it already, for God's sakes? I think they do. I truly believe that. I am. And I'm having a coronary. <laughs> All right.